In the short run, neither current account surpluses nor deficits are a real problem. But if they take for a longer time, they grow to a problem which is very severe, because those countries who have surpluses accumulate assets in foreign countries. And those countries who have deficits accumulate foreign debt. And that may become a problem in due time, because investors may consider that these countries are over-indebted and they may withdraw their assets then, and then we have a debt crisis. That has happened in the euro area in 2009, and we have seen the severe consequences, so it is better to avoid long-term surpluses and deficits. Higher wages in Germany are not the solution, but are part of the solution. It is correct that higher wages in Germany would increase domestic demand and increase imports to a certain extent. On the other side, it certainly would make exports more expensive and decrease exports. But this is an argument which is being made in real terms, not in nominal terms. If we argue in nominal terms, we have to consider prices. And in fact, higher wages lead to higher prices, and that increases, in the end, nominal exports and does not decrease them. So the effect of higher wages is dampened to a certain extent and cannot on its own solve the problem of a high current account surplus. The solution to high current account surpluses is a combination of higher wages and a very expansionary fiscal policy. Higher wages lead to high tax revenues and the public sector should not save that money but rather spend it, for example, for investment. Higher public investment leads to an increased domestic demand without increasing prices there and that leads to higher imports and certainly does not affect the export side. So, with a combination of higher wage increases and high expansionary fiscal spending, we can reduce the surplus to a very significant amount. We have to apply this kind of policy for quite some time in order to overcome the structural surplus Germany has, but it will lead into the right direction.